monstrous enemy. You better watch out if your enemies are over the head of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me and he gets caught real big kiss off quick. Hello there guys and of course welcome yourselves back in for yet another one with us the review bros. My name's Aaron. It's good to have you watching along and again a pre-workout review and not just any pre-workout. Let's be honest it's a pre-workout we've all heard of. It's been around for a long time now and it's for the masses generally speaking but this one comes in a ready to drink shot formulation. It's the C4 original but it's the new Millions flavour. And I used to remember, you, you know, millions back at school 10, 15 years ago, and they were all the range back then. This one's the strawberry one. We're going to break it down into the usual components, however, the taste being that one, the price, the label, and of course, primarily the effects of this one in the real world. How heavy hitting can this one be? Let's find out for you right now. Okay, so the first segment of any review is of course that taste segment. Now it's probably more important with this one. These, generally speaking here of course, these ready to drink shots are nicer tasting the powders. They put a lot more emphasis and effort, generally speaking of course, and they've teamed up with millions. So we are hoping for a really good flavor here. I see the shots do also come in other flavors, but not down the millions brand. You've got Sour Batch Bros, you've got, um, the original berry citrus. This one I wanted to grab is simply because it's millions and a lot of people know what they are, but if you don't, they're those little sweets as shown right there. So I'm hoping for good things. Let's see. Let's get it down. Cheers for watching. It's quite sour. And normally the million sweets aren't sour. Oh, it's not as good as I thought. It's all right. It's okay. It's just not. I really. It don't even really. It kind of does taste like strawberry, but it is really sour. Quite bitter as well. I I'll be honest. I just expected better. It's not horrific. Oh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's 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 okay. I think there's more probably disappointment behind it than anything else. Let's move into the price point now. Into the price of said product. How much is it going to set you guys back? And it's one of those difficult ones, right? You can pick them up all sorts of places effectively and you can get them individually which is what i did out of vending machines in gyms that's 99 percent of what where they're going to be purchased from you can go onto some websites and see boxes of 12 for like 19 quid and all different pr prices really anyway out of a vending machine again it's going to depend where you are in the country how much your gym is selling it for it really is that simple i personally paid two pounds fifty for it and on our consistent pricing scale, where a five out of 10 is average for a serving, comparing it against other pre-workouts, it's very expensive, right? It's a one out of 10. So we're expecting, for a one out of 10, comparing it to a pre-workout, we are talking the most stacked of, the best of the best pre-workouts, the elite. That's what we're expecting from this for that pricing point. Obviously you are getting a bit of convenience, it's probably easy if uh, you've forgotten your pre-workout just to get it out of your vending machine. There are those factors to be considered, but I'm still expecting elite. Let's move into the label now. We now move into the label of this product and how stacked is she? Well, we're expecting very stacked for that money. So we start off at the top. It's a 60 mil container. Literally one bottle is one serving, right? We start off with vitamins and minerals at the top. Nothing too exciting. Health benefits, general bodily function, natural energy production. I wouldn't really say vitamins and minerals um, are necessarily going to affect you 30 minutes later. Like a, like a pre-workout main ingredient, right? The niacin might at 2.4 milligrams, 
because it might give you a nice in flush, which is a feeling that you can actually feel, all right? Anyway, we've got carnosine beta alanine as our first primary ingredient here at 1.6 grams, which is half of the dosage we generally look for. If you was looking at it from a powder formulation, you would want double that. It's gonna give you that beta tingle, that paraphysia, itchy feeling as the pre-workout kicks in. And of course, at a good dosage, over a prolonged period of time, it's gonna help you with endurance-based benefits. We've got L-arginine at a gram for nitro oxide production. Pumps, that's what we're looking for, a bit of blood flow here. We've got ourselves N-acetyl L-tyrosine at 200 milligrams, which is approximately just one fifth of the dosage we want to see, 20%. So it probably won't do too much at all. It's in there for focus, concentration, and perhaps even some mood boosting properties. Like I say, I'll be very surprised if any of that comes forward. And we wrap off this label with caffeine at 150 milligrams, which again is approximately half of what you want to see from a pre-workout, but that is more of a person dependent one. It's about as much caffeine as a can of Monster. So for some people that's gonna be strong, for some people that's not gonna be anything at all. You know, that is a person dependent one. Now, what do I think of that label? It's important to mention these shots are always gonna be limited by how much they can put in. It only weighs a few grams itself. They can't put in 10 grams of citrulline, five grams of beta alanine, two and a half betaine, two grams of tyrosine, et cetera, et cetera. However, it is, I have to be fair to compare it against other pre-workout powders, it would be one of the worst formulas on the market. And I'd be expecting to be pay paying around 60p, 70p, 80p maximum a serving. We're paying for the name, we're paying for the flavour, we're paying for the convenience. That's what we're paying for. We're not paying for the ingredients because that is a very poor formula. Okay, guys, we now move into the effects of this one. It's the C4 shot, but the millions flavor, right? Important to note, of course, based on our personal opinions. Let's start at the beginning. Beta alanine, did I feel it? Yes or no? Mild, very mild. Beta tingles for people who don't know what I'm talking about, the itchy tingle feeling. I'd say it probably did more than 1.6 in a pre-workout powder because let's be realistic here. It's pretty much the only thing in the label that you're gonna feel, all right? So I felt it a two or a three out of 10 on the beta tingle scale, comparing it to other products on the market. Moving on forward through that, we look for three elements in our pre-workout formulations. If you've watched any of our reviews before, you'll know that to be the energy the pumps and the focus. And of course you do get side benefits to all of those. You get some thermogenic fat burning effect. You can have endurance benefits. You can get mood elevation and several other things, but they're the free primary. They're the golden trio we look for. Let's start with the strongest element for me. And that would be the energy, which was very, very weak. Now it, again, it would have to be person dependent. If a can of monster lights you up, this will light you up. If a can of monster does nothing for you, this will do nothing for you. And in my personal opinion, it did very little for me at all. Very little. Of course, I'm an experienced pre-workout user. The type of person that buys this product is gonna be your gen, this is meant as no offence, really important. Your general Joe, your average Joe, your masses. It's in your gym pre, it's in your gym vending machines, guys. It's not designed to be a strong pre-workout. Hell, if you're driving past a Starbucks or a Costa on the way to the gym, that will give you as much energy as this pre-workout. That's the truth. Energy, two out of 10, weak source. Caffeine's its only stimulant at half, generally speaking, half the dose we want to see a pre-workout at. Pumps, non-existent. 
I know we've got arginine there at gram, but that's a poor dosage. It's an old ingredient that doesn't really come together well. It's not nitrosogene. The arginine dissipates in the blood very quickly through studies. And in reality, right, it didn't do anything for me from a pump standpoint. Focus, non-existent again. 200 milligrams of n to l tyrosine is, personally speaking, an insult. I've seen much, much better formulated shots on the market. This is, and when they say number one global supplement pre-workout brand, that too is also personally an insult. Don't get me wrong, I don't actually have any doubts that they're probably one of the best, if not the best, selling pre-workout. Because they're very good with marketing, they're very good at getting their name out there, and let's be honest, realistic now, most people are average Joes. They're the type of people that will buy this product. It's kind of like Taylor Swift's songs will be the most listened to songs. But that doesn't mean they're the best, right? It's one to avoid. For the pricing point, honestly, again, it's a dig in the ribs. It's one to avoid at all costs. Even if I had no pre-workout on me, I'd rather still not pay for this one. That's my, of course, humble and honest opinion. It doesn't do anything for you apart from the smallest of energy kicks. Very important to note, guys, however, because there will be some people out there go, this is strong. For some people, that placebo effect will be no doubt a heavy hitter. The, sh the fact that it comes in a shot some people will be like, I've taken a shot, boom, I'm bouncing off the walls. It's a placebo effect. There's also no, some no doubt out there that some people are very sensitive to caffeine. 150 milligrams of caffeine for them will be a kick in the face. But for the masses, anyone that uses pre-workout on a regular, it's one to avoid. Let that be said. Appreciate you watching. And as always, stay stimmed. Cheers for watching.